Hi, it's Roger here with episode 41 of Entrepreneur TV. The three keys to growth. And I believe I am the furthest I have ever been, travel times anyway, from uh, my home in Bali, because I'm in Galapagos Islands. Uh, here we are at a, uh, uh, a lodge called the Red Mango Lodge. You can see it here. We have all sorts of visitors here as well. So for example, uh, this place is full of um, iguanas. There's an iguana heading off that way and also um, sea lions so here's a sea lion sleeping here and <laughs> this actually was um, meant to be uh, deck chairs for uh, humans but what happened was the sea lions actually took it over so we're actually in a little spot here and you can see there are sea lions um, all around here little baby pups uh, there's one suckling there and they are all just kind of resting before heading out again. And I thought, what a perfect place to talk about the three E's, which are the three keys to growth, which I have talked about in the past as well. And, um, and I want to talk about them here because this is what happened to Darwin, right? This is where uh, Darwin traveled out to the other side of the world to come up with what became his uh, most uh, famous piece of work, which was the theory of evolution. And uh, sometimes it takes that. The very, very first key is the key of environment. And that means environment in terms of putting yourself in a new environment. Like most of us learning doesn't happen by going through the same routines or being in the same place as we were yesterday. It really is about putting yourself in an entirely new environment. So I'll do that every time I want to have a change of thinking. And it's not even about just in work or in business. Uh, it's about like thinking about life differently. It's about saying, where do I need to put myself differently? Who, what groups do I want to be in? Or where do I want to be um, uh, in terms of inputs uh, and new ways of thinking that I hadn't been thinking before? So environment, where could you put yourself differently today? Second thing after environment is education. Education is about what are you going to do when you're in that environment to educate yourself differently, to see things differently. It's like learning a new sport or learning a new instrument. You have to actually start learning what are the rules to whatever it is you're looking to master. And after education, the third one is entrepreneurship. And entrepreneurship is all about how do you then make the most of what you've learned about the new environment, about the concept of being able to take whatever you're doing and turn it into action. These three elements, the number one, environment, which is where we show up. Number two, education, which is what we do to make sense of it. And, oh, hello there. They're just waking up right now, as you can see. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> and number three, uh, entrepreneurship, which is what are we gonna do about it? Those three E's are the keys to growth, always. And if you're ever stuck, start by that. Change your environment and then change the way you're looking at things or how you're educating yourself and who you're educating yourself with. And then entrepreneurship, what are you gonna do with that information? I think one of the most powerful things is when we start realizing that this isn't just about us personally, like your own personal environment, your own personal education, and your own personal entrepreneurship. It's about team as well. It's like what happens when, as a team, you start thinking, in terms of your culture, in terms of your business. And then our entire society, what happens when we realize that this environment we have globally, that there's ways for us to actually look after it. In fact, if we don't look after it, it can't be a teacher for us in the first place. Uh, and then also at the same time, how we can educate globally. And at the same time, how we can actually change the world through entrepreneurship. I share these three because every time I'm on this trip, as you can see, if you go back to the last video, when uh, I videoed from the Earthship, uh, if you haven't seen that, you can see the link down below. Uh, and uh, next week I'm going to be in the rainforest. Uh, this is going to do so much for the way I look and see the world, uh, what I think about what I'm up to, and how I can then actually bring that back to be a value to those who are part of our network, which obviously includes you because you're watching this video as well. So with that being said, I'm going to kind of head out. Oh, look, there's even a little sign here. You can see here it says um, Sea Lions Resting Lounge. And yep, they are definitely resting. Uh, with, with with that little note from me and the sea lions, um, I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. Um, it, I'm gonna show you some of the things that we've been up to when we've been here in Galapagos. Myself, my family, uh, we have gone scuba diving, we've gone out and swum with penguins and with sea lions. And it's just amazing what happens when you actually allow the environment to be the way it's meant to be. And that, at the end of the day, becomes your best teacher. For everyone who is involved in changing environment with us, come along for our fast forward events coming up or come along to iLab at our resort. It's all about changing the environment. And for everyone looking to educate yourself differently, then you I'm sure have seen some of the notes we've had 
around our new Dynamics 3.0 down below are the links. Come join us because it's open right now as you're watching this video. If you're watching it at the end of July, beginning of August, uh, look forward to having you as part of what is our most exciting program of this year. And with that being said, I'm going to say goodbye from Galapagos and we'll catch up with you on the next video.